Hi everyone, welcome to my updated hair curling tutorial. It is a tutorial that is designed to show you how to curl your hair in literally less than five minutes and you don't have to have freshly washed hair to achieve this look because I'm actually going to start with a two day old greasy slept in bun and show you how to take it from that where we know we get rings and uh, crinks in our hair and use some products to degrease it and then get it fluffy and looking like we effortlessly styled it. So I'm going to be using my favorite new curling arm. This is by Hot Tools. It's an extra long curling rod. Literally, that's what it says on the box, extra long curling rod. And the reason why I sought this out um, at Ulta is actually where I found it, is when I use traditional curling rods, when you have long hair or even medium length to long hair, I find that you run out of space on the actual rod. Look at the difference between this traditional curling iron. This is just like the normal size curling iron as far as the length goes and this one. Huge difference. Now granted these are slightly different barrel sizes but look at how much longer this is. So you have so much more space to twist your hair around. It makes a huge difference. So much easier, so much faster and who doesn't want to have more time in the morning. So I'm going to show you how I use this puppy. Also wanted to tell you, this is an inch and a fourth, which is the perfect uh, size curling iron, curling rod that everybody should have. It gives you nice kind of in between wave slash curls. Anything bigger than that, like the inch and a half, gives you more of a blowout smooth curl. And then of course, anything smaller than that is gonna give you tighter curls. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first things first, let's get that greasy bun out. And I'm going to comb through my hair with a hairbrush, make sure it is nice and detangled. It's always important to apply a heat protectant spray. I like to use, it's a 10, it's a good leave-in treatment, conditioner, detangler, heat protectant, etc. So I spritz that on and then comb it through. And then I want to take care of my greasy roots with my favorite dry shampoo in the entire world, Batista Dry Shampoo. And that one is tinted for medium to light toned brunettes. And as you can see, I started by the ear and then made parts all the way up to the center and down the other side of my head and then one in the back and let it dry before you brush it through completely. This is very important when using dry shampoo. You need to brush it through nice and thoroughly to make sure it absorbs all the oils. And then after I brush it through I like to take my fingertips and kind of tease or, or really get my fingertips in there and add some friction. It, it tends to expand the dry shampoo and give a little bit more body at the root. So to curl my hair, I'm going to divide my hair into two sections, um, top and bottom, getting the top section out of the way. And then taking that bottom section, putting it over my shoulders, brushing it through again. And with my curling iron, I'm going to curl this whole bottom half in only four sections. So each side, I'm going to split it in half and curl each side in two sections. I'm holding the rod parallel to my head and as you can see, as I wrapped that around the curling iron, I wrapped it towards my face and I left the ends out. That gives you more of a wave slash curl than a full-fledged um, tight curl. So again, that is going around the curling iron towards my face leaving the ends out and holding it parallel to my face and then releasing and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side towards my face so as you notice you have to switch hands when you do this holding the curling iron behind your head so your arm goes up and over and behind your head I have found is the easiest way to do this so now we're done with the bottom half we'll get that out of the way and we're going to start the top half now with the top half, we're going to divide it into a few more sections than just two to give us some more body and some more texture. So about four sections, uh, depending on how much hair you have, excuse me. And then as you notice there, the difference is we are wrapping it around the rod, holding it parallel to the face, but the curls are being wrapped away from the face on top of the, on the top half. That's very important, away. You're still holding the iron, up and the, uh, back and behind the head and still leaving the ends out. That's the third section here, up and around, away from the face. And then when we get to the front here, I want to show you my special little trick for getting a nice uh, swoop in the front to get a nice, uh, your hair, to get your hair to lay nice and right. Nice and right. <laughs> you know what I mean. 
Okay, so as you can see, I am curling it away from the face. However, that hair is actually being pulled towards the opposite side of the head. So as you can see, what that does is give a little bit of an angle for the face. So pull it across the forehead, put the iron right in the center of the forehead, curl it away from the face just like you would the other pieces, but you're pulling the iron and tugging the hair towards the opposite side of the head. And then we're gonna repeat all of that on the opposite side. Curling the hair away from the face, holding the rod parallel to the head. We switched hands to do this side, leaving those ends out. We'll continue until we get back up to the front and you will see that front trick again. Because I know that that takes a little bit to get used to. Practice makes perfect. The more you do this, the easier it gets, I promise. Okay, so this front section I'm going to divide into two sections. Pull it across my forehead, towards the opposite side of my head. Oops, even I got a little confused there. And then wrapping the hair around the iron away from my face, but keeping the hair tugged towards the opposite side of the head. long you hold your curling iron um, or you hold your hair in your curling iron really depends on how easily your hair curls. Okay, so pulling it across, curling away from the face, but tugging towards the other side of the head. And I really am applying some pressure tugging it towards the other side of the head. Now once you release, you let your curls cool for just a couple minutes and then it's really simple. You just finger comb through your hair until you get the texture that you want. Thank you.